guys, um, I'm Danny from One Step at a Time and here I am making my first YouTube video. I guess I decided to come over to YouTube just because I want to do something different and it seemed like fun and I figured if I don't like it, I can always stop. I just thought it's, it might be fun way to expand and oh and you'll have to excuse my um, self, uh, my uh, alfoil taped finger. I really hurt my nail and um, I've got acrylics on at the moment so I thought it was best to take it off. Anyway, so today in my video I'm thinking I'm going to talk about gel and acrylic because they're things that people, you know, you hear about a lot but you don't actually know what they are. Like lots of people, like especially like I'm training as a nail tech technician and I'm like, oh, you know, do you want acrylic for gel? They're like, well, what's the difference? Is there a difference? And, you know, like, I didn't really know the difference until I started learning. So I just thought, like, I'd run through some basic stuff about the difference just so you know a little bit more about it. So I thought we'd start with acrylic. So acrylic is a two-part system. So what happens is you have your monomer and your polymer. Simply put, your monomer is, like, single part and polymer is more complex. So you start off and you have your monomer, which is liquid. Um, so at the moment I've got CND, which is just because that's what the um, college gave me. And this is the stinky stuff. The stuff that you smell in nail salons, this is the stinky stuff. So that's liquid, see? See there? So that's the liquid. And it's purple because it helps stopping the, stop the acrylics and stuff from turning different colours. And then, so that's one part. And then you have your polymer, which is powder. So this is again CND. If I just shake that slightly, you can see how that is powder. So this is a pink powder, which will give you a, like a natural, you probably can't see it's pink, my recorder's not very great. So this is the pink. And so, as you can see, none of these are acrylics like you see on people's nails, like these. These are acrylics. They're not very good acrylics, but they, it is acrylic. Um, so it's the mixture of this and this that gives you the actual acrylic that then hardens by itself on your nails. So literally, I'm like, I'm not going to go through the process, maybe I'll cover that in another video, but you know, you get your brush, you put it in the monomer, then when you put transfer it to the polymer, it forms like a, a substance sort of wet sticky thing, which you put on the nail and that then self hardens. To remove acrylic, what you have to do is you have to soak it off. As I'm doing here, this is one method, it's the burrito method of foil removal, whatever you call it. I call it the burrito method because I can make finger burritos, which I think sounds cool. Anyway, that's just me. And it's literally where you just soak a um, cotton round in acetone, put it on your finger and wrap it up with a tin foil. Mine kept coming undone, so I actually plastered it to my finger just to stop all the acetone running out, which wasn't really a very good look. Um, other than that, you can just literally soak all your fingers in a bowl of acetone, which I've done. Um, but make sure the acetone is in like a double boiler system. So you've got the acetone in a bowl, glass bowl, don't use plastic, it will destroy it. And then so you've got it in your glass bowl and then get hot water in a larger bowl and put the acetone containing bowl in the other bowl. Like you would when you melt chocolate on a stove. Um, because the heat helps the acetone work better. And that is basically acrylic. Okay, so moving on to gel. What we've got is gel is a one part system. So you only have the gel. So the gel is here. This is just some cheapo stuff I bought off eBay. I've not even used it yet, so I don't even know whether it's any good, but it cost me like, oh, I don't know, like $3 for, pot of th for three pots, so. Okay, so this is the gel, as you can see. You see there? It's really, really sticky. Like, incredibly sticky. And the reason I'm not using my fingers with any of this is because it is so hard to get off. It is sticky like nobody's business. It's like the stickiest honey. Um, so that's actually quite mobile, probably because it is so hot in here. Like, it is ridiculous how hot it is. So, and that's gel. So gel, unlike acrylic, does not self-harden. It has to be cured by a UV lamp. Unfortunately, I don't have my UV lamp here to show you. It hasn't arrived in the post yet, but they pretty much look like this. And then what happens is you, you know, gel on a brush, put it on your finger, 
and then you have to cure it in the UV light. And it's the curing process that then hardens the gel and gives it, and that's what, that's what really makes acrylic different from gel. The fact that gel must be cured. It will, otherwise it will just remain sticky forever. Unlike acrylic which hardens pretty quickly. Gel also doesn't stink. It's odourless which is really great. Um, but gel can't be soaked off. Gel must be filed off which is the thing that really puts me off gel. I like acrylic but then I learnt acrylic before I learnt gel and so I was much more used to this acrylic than gel. I mean acrylic you put it on the finger and it stays. You gel you put it on the finger and it starts rolling around it slides up the finger and you've got it on your finger and you have to put it on back on the finger now. It's a pain. I think. But lots of people like gel and that's totally up to you. But gel you must file off. It cannot be soaked off which is another thing why I don't like gel because I don't like the filing. Like to file it off it's a lot of filing to file that whole removal off and afterwards I felt my nails just felt really quite thin because I probably filed off a fair amount. And so that's gel and acrylic nails. Okay next we've got shellac which is what most people think of when they think of gel polish you say gel or gel nails and people automatically think oh shellac yes i've heard of that i know what that is kind of but not gel like gel nails like the enhanced nails gel that is this stuff and that is really quite different to shellac however gel polish that is what is shellac and that's what people are thinking of shellac is Shellac is gel polish, not all gel polish is shellac. It's called shellac because that's the leading brand, but it's like saying a square is a rectangle. Yes, it's a rectangle because it has all the properties of the rectangle, but not all rectangles are squares. It's just a type of gel polish. It's the leading brand of gel polish, which is why everybody just calls all gel polish shellac. And that's this stuff. This is gel polish. It's not shellac because I don't have that sort of money to throw around. But like sh proper shellac, you'd be looking at probably like 30 30 35 dollars a bottle, which is ridiculous for me to pay for a bottle of gel polish when I change my nails like every two to three days. So this stuff, as you can see, it's kind of a gross colour, but it was the one my mum wanted. Um, is just literally it's like nail polish. And that's what it is. That's what shellac is. It's like nail polish. But like gel, it must be cured under a UV lamp. It will not dry unless it is cured under a UV lamp. And because it is this curing and it's a different composition to regular nail polish, that's what makes it so long lasting. It's, you know, biggest claim is the fact that it can last two to three weeks without chipping. And that's true. But you need a UV light to cure it. And that's gel polish. Gel polish you can put over the top of gel nails, you can put it over the top of acrylic nails, you can put it over the top of regular nails. It's just another type of nail polish but because of that gel component it needs to be cured under a UV light. And that's that's pretty much it for nail enhancements. Um, if you want to know any more let me know if you like it, let me know in the comments or like it. Um, subscribe if you want to hear some more of what, you know, if there's anything you want to hear about, like if you've read my blog, want me to like make some videos about certain things, let me know, like, I'm really like, don't know what I'm going to make videos about, but I want to get started on it. So I thought I'd start on this because it seemed like a good thing to make a video about, but let me know what else you want me to do. So that's about it. I'll see you next time. Bye.